Good afternoon. We are recording requests for funding from external organizations. And so this one is for the Art Walk. Would you please introduce yourself and give us your spiel? Thank you, Mayor. I'm Greg Blow, um, and one of the um, members of the committee um, that uh, has been putting on the Art Walk. Uh, this is our fourth year. Um, and I think we started, and it was pretty uh, from the seat of our pants sort of thing. Uh, we started with the idea of adding to the aesthetics of downtown. And uh, it's grown into much more than that as, uh, as we've gotten into it. But we really, um, you know, we've added uh, new locations each year. We tried to do two a year. And we've done that the last two years. Um, we own the granite blocks that the art sits on, and then we lease new art each year in the spring. Uh, and then that art is with us for uh, an entire year. Um, we really try to be diverse in our choice of uh, art and, uh, and in size. We've learned, um, especially after the first year, that certain pieces don't fit where we want to put them. And there are maybe awnings over buildings, over sidewalks. Uh, some sidewalks have the steam tunnels under them, and so we can't put them where we thought we were going to put them. Uh, City Utilities has been very helpful in uh, showing us where uh, we usually pick out the spots, and they tell us, no, don't do that. Um, and uh, so we've done a better job of matching the art um, to the uh, surroundings. We, we try to do native art. Uh, we try to do some whims whimsical things. We try to do um, uh, animals. Um, and uh, we have this year the little cowboy who's two and a half feet tall. And then we have the... Um, the rusty guitar um, that's 13 feet tall. And if you look at our brochure, you'll see that they range in, uh, in value um, from I think as little as 2,500 up to the bear next to the Chamber of Commerce, which is uh, 20,000. And the idea is to sell those uh, or sell one of them and we would get a percentage of the sale price, um, which probably brings me to the the core of this discussion, and that is um, the expense of doing this. And we probably got some uh, incomplete information in the beginning as to costs and things other than just the granite block and the lease itself, as far as expense. So that um, we prob well we didn't price it correctly, and just on the block and the art lease, in the first year we lost five hundred dollars per position. Wow! So uh, we learned and we've repriced. Uh, we still have some carryover debt that we're retiring each year, um, but if we would sell one of these pieces, it would. Um, help us pay that off just that much sooner. The, um, the, the idea is to bring people to downtown and uh, to look at the art, to uh, the city, uh, along with the Art Walk, uh, has joined an organization called um, the State Art Trail. And the idea is that where we have communities that have art um, on display, the state will promote uh, tourism and uh, people following the trail, and that'll get people into town. Sioux Falls randomly, um, two years ago, one of their members was at the falls, and there were two buses there. 
people just out looking and and he started talking to the bus driver and the bu bus driver he said well, where are you going to eat and they said um, well we're going to go uh, to the truck stop and he said why don't you go downtown and he said well are there places to eat there <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they did go downtown uh, they stayed about two hours walked up and down Phillips looking at the art and everybody that got back on the bus had a shopping bag and the idea is sort of to get people to come downtown, look around, uh, and spend some money. Uh, so, so that that's uh, it, it has evolved in our mind from just say it'd, it'd be nice to have some statues, uh, some attractive statues, to um, <clears throat> getting uh, the downtown uh, vibrant and more attractive. We also have found that there's an education component to this. Um, homeschoolers uh, are being brought by their parents and they pick out a, a piece of art and then they have to write a paper and explain what it is and what it means. And um, I, I know for a fact that Jenkins brings some of their uh, people around when the weather's good and they walk up and down looking at uh, the pieces. So that's another group that probably wouldn't be downtown if it weren't uh, for the art. So that education component, it, it, we hadn't really thought about it. Last spring, there was a class from the high school and they were going to each position and taking pictures. And I don't know what they were gonna do with it, but you know, then uh, they went back to school and did something anyway. So um, art means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And we sort of, found that out and we've tried to, as I said, be sort of diverse in what we pick and um, see if we can put it uh, where it shows the best. Um, you, you know, the success of Art Walk, I think, uh, can be measured, one, in the number of people we see wandering around looking at it, but, you know, it's sort of anecdotal. And uh, what they do in Sioux Falls, and we just haven't figured a good way to do it yet, is to have people vote on what they think is the best piece, the piece that they like the most. Because we're all volunteers, and we've all got other things to do, they've got full-time staff in Sioux Falls, we just haven't figured out an easy way to do it. Uh, and then we would be able to not get a perfect count, but we'd get a count. Um, in some way and they have you know they have ballot boxes and ballots and they pick them up every day and things like that and we we just don't know that we um, are in a position to do that yet we've expanded our committee uh, Joy Nelson, Jan DeBerg and myself for the first few years uh, now Luann Strait and Sean Dempsey have joined us uh, and I think that's a good sign of growth right there and uh, they've been helpful what it, I, I say it's the most fun of what we do and that's when we pick out the art and it's sort of hard because you're just seeing a picture a one-dimensional picture on the wall but <clears throat> having those additional people sets of eyes uh, this year we picked a couple that I think we wouldn't have picked and um, uh, they've turned out to be really popular and I, I want to expand the group. I think that's the, the key for us a, as we add more positions, I think we want to add more people to the, to the committee. We also have friends of Watertown Art Walk and those people uh, give $500 uh, a piece to, uh, to support the Art Walk and I think that's uh, an important uh, sign of uh, people supporting us and, and that it's important. Um, as far as our biggest challenge, um, you know, I, I think it is selecting the art and getting it in the right place uh, and certainly paying for it. We And we are um, paying as we go now and we've, we've figured out how to price this. We don't want to overprice it because we want people to, to participate but um, we've 
we can cover our costs, and that's all we try to do. I think we came into this year, we ended 2017 with $1,900. So uh, the idea is not to make money, it's to get as much art up and going as we can. Um, you know, the my vision for the future is to have art in good locations anywhere we can put it. And uh, I think Sioux Falls has overdone it. If you, if you walk down Phillips, they'll have at least two pieces on every block and sometimes three. And you sort of get overwhelmed. And it's on both sides of the street. And you don't stop long enough to really take into perspective uh, what those various pieces are and what they mean. So I, I don't think we want to go that far. But we do want to have uh, pieces any place we can put them uh, physically. S the sidewalk can support it, and where they fit into the the um, what's going on in the street uh, at that location. The, the bump out where we put our little um, statues really is sort of neat because it's not blocked by any parking cars, mm -hmm. and that's why we put the smaller ones there um, and then each year we've sort of gotten a little bigger because the cars do um, block the view uh, sometimes and so we have sort of as we're picking our art we try to get bigger pieces that will um, fit into the location excellent well uh, you answered my questions just in your presentation I did give him like a one minute warning of the questions I was going to ask. He talked about um, how the success will be measured and their challenges and the vision for the program. Um, I, w I guess I would like to hear you say, if you had to boil it down to the main goal of having Art Walk downtown, what would that be? I want as many people as possible to come, to want to come and look at it. And, you know, we don't all appreciate the same types of art. So that's why we really try to be diverse in what we have. And I, I think my goal is if a person will walk down Kemp and like two or three of the pieces, really like them, uh, I don't know that we've had anybody say, I don't like that. <laughs> they, they may say, I like this the best. Yeah. Or that's strange. <laughs> well, <laughs> what, what happened to one of our strange ones that became a casualty last year? I don't know if you remember oh. the orange globe oh, at yes. Tackers, yes. in front of Tackers. So somebody didn't like that one, oh. maybe. But well, vandalism. Uh, <laughs> that's what we pay insurance for. Right, yes. Okay, well, I thank you very much for coming, Greg. Appreciate this. Well. I, I, we appreciate what the city has done for us, and uh, we think it's important enough to put our time in and get, get her done. Yes, thank you for your volunteering. Well, thank you.